Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit since I've done a sit down talky video, but today's topic, I wanted to talk to you guys about reading. So you're looking at someone who has not been the best at reading, has been a very slow reader, has not passed standardized testing because of reading. And today I wanna to share with you guys that I've actually read like more than three books yeah, more than three books in like the past year. One of my friends was like talking about reading and then I was like, oh wow, like she said basically if you read this many pages a day, you can like finish a book in a month. And I thought that was like really interesting. Before we get into anything else, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on your post notifications as well as follow me on Instagram because it would mean the world to me. Okay back to schedule programming. When she said that to me, I was like, oh wow, that's like so cool. And I don't know, I was like, oh, I'm not the biggest reader because I don't like reading. I just associated everything like negative with reading. One book that I read for pleasure and I thoroughly enjoyed it and it was like the only book I had read my entire high school career. Um, that wasn't like forced, you know? It was a book about Frances Farmer and she was basically like committed to insane asylums and stuff. So that was like the only book I read for a while that was just like for pleasure. Other than that, I was like forced to read. I was one of those types of people that just like would read the same page over and over again because I'm like, what is it even saying? Like, I don't know, I'm so concentrated on like making sure I get the words right and everything. It was a little difficult for me and I struggled with it a lot, especially too, I read out of like one eye, predominantly my right eye because um, my eyes don't see the same. I know that's weird but I never wear glasses and I don't really think, I don't need them need them, but like I tend to wear them when I'm like on the computer and stuff, just because I know the computer is like really hard on your eyes. I tend to read like out of one eye as well. So maybe that has to do with like my reading speed and everything. Sometimes I try to wear glasses when I read, but sometimes I don't. Um, bad at reading, but the turning point of like getting into books and one of my best tips for you. Well, first of all, never force yourself to read or do anything you don't want to do. Like I never read, even when my parents were like, you need to read this book or like, you need this. I'm like, no, I don't really want to. And another thing too, I hated like novels. If the story was not true, it's kind of like TV and like entertainment. If it's not true, I have like no interest in it because I don't know, like knowing it's a real person and knowing just like everything about the situation and knowing facts is like really interesting to me and it's more engaging to me. I did not like anything fake. So that's another thing too. The biggest turning point for me was the Netflix series Cheer because I got so into that. And luckily the second season was coming out like almost after I finished the first season because I was a little late to the game. But then I started seeing like, read Monica Aldama's book Full Out. And I'm like, hmm, I should get that. Like, why not? It's on Amazon. I have Amazon Prime so I can just like have it delivered here. So I wanted to try to read that book because I just really was interested in the storylines and the characters and like them as real people. And she kind of talks about her like life advice as a coach and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to read this. So I got that book and I finished it within, I don't know, it was a short amount of time, but like every page and everything like flowed and I was reading it like a real person and I felt like I was comprehending stuff and it was just so cool. So I finished it pretty fast, but also I think the reason why I like understood stuff and everything was because I already knew the characters. I already kind of knew like the background because I watched the Netflix series. So I wasn't jumping into something like so new. So if you're having difficulties like reading and stuff or just uninspired, my first tip and second tip would be first to find something or some topic that you're interested in that you want to learn more about. If you don't care about it, like 
no offense, but I do not like history. If someone made me read a book about history, like I would comprehend like zero. If it was a story about like love and everything, well, given the stage of my life, like I would not be interested in that because like I don't have a significant other. So I don't want to read that because like that'll just get me down. Like don't pick things that like you know you're just not gonna follow through with. So that's my first tip. My second tip for the subject or the story or whatever, kind of have a background of that. Know who the main character is. Know who Coach Monica is as a person before you just like grab her book. You know what I mean? So like that's another big thing that I would suggest doing. Also too, take it easy. And if you have to reread a page, just reread a page or reread a paragraph and like it'll be okay. Don't stress. I kind of also wanted to talk about the books that I've been enjoying. So the first one I have been enjoying a lot um, was obviously the Full Out book and that was the one that really got me into reading. And I will say that level of reading is a lot, not like elementary, but like let's just say there's not as many like huge words that you know aren't used in your everyday you know, speaking. So that one was so good. And obviously it was about Coach Monica being on the Netflix series, Cheer, um, her life and like go, kind of going through her history and then on the show and then all of the students that she like taught, she talked about in there as well. And it was just really good. That's a book that like catapulted it all. And like once I finished that, I was like, oh my gosh, like, okay, like I can do this. So uh, let's find another book that I would probably be interested in. And by the way, I do not have the book full out because I'm lending it to a work friend. So she currently has that. So that's why I can't really show it to you in this video. Also guys, sorry, the sun's kind of going down because of how late it is. But luckily daylight savings, we still have a little bit of light right now. So yay. Um, the next book I read was so good. And I think this is my favorite book out of all the books I've read so far. And it is called My Friend Anna. And this book is all about the fake German heiress, Anna Delvey. Um, her friend, her ex former friend, Rachel Deloche Williams wrote it. And this book is definitely one that um, is a higher reading level like I will tell you that it's very like she uses words in here that are you know not found in you know your everyday common you know language as you would speak to your friend I don't know but um this is definitely like my favorite book I think this is my favorite one out of all of the books I've read so far well okay it's up there with one of my favorite books and again I already kind of knew the storyline. It just gives you more insight and detail into what was going on, which I like. And that's why I read to learn more about a certain subject or a certain story. Um, so very, very good book. All of these two you can get on Amazon. So check it out. I'll try to link them down below if I remember. The next book I read after the cheer one and the my friend Anna one was The Woman Who Fooled the World. And my mom also has started reading this book. I don't know what she thinks of it, but it was probably like my least favorite so far because like they jumped into subjects that like weren't the story kind of like they touched on other people, which supported the story, but I didn't find like that interesting. So in some parts I was like slower because I'm like, uh, I don't really care about this. And I know that sounds bad, but anyway, this is about a lady who faked cancer and she came out with this app that Apple like loved. She was telling people that she cured her cancer with like natural eating, but like clearly you can't do that. You need to have medical treatments for that. But she was like, I cured myself by doing this. And then she wrote a book, she had an app. So she fooled all these people into believing that you could like cure cancer with a really clean diet, which, okay, dreamers can dream, but like science, guys, science. Um, so this is very interesting. And as you guys can tell, like I love books about like fraudsters and like scams. I don't know, I find them so interesting. They're so good. Um, my mom likes murder mysteries and like crime books. So I don't know, I guess you just have to figure out like what type of genre you like. And I definitely like nonfiction. So just know that as well, like what 
style and type you prefer. I also like autobiographies, but I haven't read one of those in a while. So anyway, this is the next book I read. And again, I didn't read it as fast because there was just parts that weren't that interesting. This is probably like my least favorite book so far. And the book I just completed reading was so good. Okay, so I think this has to be my second favorite because I honestly think the My Friend Anna book was my favorite. So this has to be my second favorite. But it is called Bad Blood by John Carreyou and it's all about a Silicon Valley startup um, that was basically a big fraud. If you guys know about Elizabeth Holmes, she invented this thing called the Edison and then there was the mini lab that was supposed to be able to test hundreds of blood tests on this machine from one little prick of blood through the finger. Like it would just need like one little blood sample from your finger and then they could test it and then you could get all these results. Well, obviously I do not think that that is like actually scientifically possible, like no matter how hard you tried, but she fooled all these people and like really, really big names and like really powerful people. And she was like, became a billionaire because of it. And this is all about how she got there and then how it all came crashing down. So definitely really, really good. Such a good book. And it's about 300 pages, so it's not too bad either. Um, this one, this copy even comes with like pictures in the middle, which I love pictures, as you guys know, like photography and stuff. So just having like a visual to like see what these people like actually looked like. I'm also currently watching the Hulu series about this. So it was really, really cool that I could like read the book while watching the series. They're still releasing some of it. So I was just really impressed and I love this book. I also watched the documentary when it came out. I think it was an HBO documentary. It was so good. The book I'm starting to read and I haven't actually like started it yet, but it's my first novel and this is fake. Okay guys. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping that it's good because again, knowing something's fake, it's just like, doesn't keep my attention very well. But like my other tip, I told you guys know something about the book or like know kind of the storyline. So you're not trying to like have to read it and then also like, okay, what is it? What's going on? Cause you kind of already know. So years ago I watched the movie version of this book called coma. And so I know like the summary of it. I kind of forgot how it ended. So, but I mean, I know like the skeleton of what it's about. And it's basically about um, people that get admitted to the hospital are put into comas on accident, but it wasn't really on accident. It was to harvest their organs. So I just find that to be like really interesting and cool. It's kind of like a, um, like on the back says, it's a creepy classic. This author too, is he's well known. His name is Robin Cook and this has been around for forever. So I'm assuming that it's good just because of, you know, like what it's about and everything. So definitely can't wait to get started on this book. I don't know when I'm gonna be starting reading this book, probably tonight or tomorrow, but Definitely one that I can't wait to crack open and start um, just because I wanna see if I can do it. But anyway, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, complaints about any books you've read or like if you wanna get started into reading or you love reading, like let me know some good book suggestions down below. I am very picky with books. Like I have to want to read it. I can't just like be told like, oh, you should read this. Like, I don't know. I have to like want to know or kind of have a, I don't know. I'm just really picky when it comes to reading and books in general. So anyway, I think that is gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to share like some of my new books and I wanted to share like, you know, this crazy life change, which it's not that crazy, but anyway, it's not like me to have read books in the past. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.